This is what it's all about, getting these kids in technology projects, getting them to work it out on their own, hands-on, minds-on research. I'm Bob Wisner, Fair Director for the Connecticut Science and Engineering Fair. My name is Rebecca Meyer and I'm the Urban School Challenge Chair here at the Connecticut Science and Engineering Fair. I call it the State Championships of, for Science. So commercial herbicides are often containing toxic chemicals. The judging really, we make sure that they uh, have reviewed the, the right design, the methodology, you know, they ask the question, the hypothesis, and it contains just regular food matter. They tested something. Inside, I actually had to modify a hydroponic growing system. We also look for creativity. We want to, like, how did you get this idea for this project? And then how did you execute it and then display it? So then that way we can see what your message was and what you actually studied. Narrow spectrum targeting herbicide is something that is going to kill off plants, but on a smaller active scale. So maybe instead of killing off everything, it'll kill off select plants and it'll be really good at its work. We wanted an engine to run off on water. So we had to convert the water into hydrogen and oxygen by using a process called electrolysis. So inside of the water, the hydrogen and the oxygen bond is being broken. And there's a catalyst baking soda which helps the electricity move freely through the water. And now the hydrogen is being moved into another cell which it will be purified and from there it will be moving into an engine. 